In this video, we will learn about inverse functions and the composition of functions. So what is an inverse function? An inverse function, first of all, the function must be a bijection. And let's remember what bijection means, both one to one and onto, meaning that, again, looking at my um, example down here, this is onto because there are no elements of B that haven't been mapped to from set A. It is one to one because each of these elements is only mapped to one time. So it has to be a bijection. And the inverse, and note the way that we write this, f to the negative one, which just um, tells us that is the inverse function, is the function that maps from B to A um, such that essentially it would look like this. A is one, two, three, four, and so five, because three maps to five, then five will map to three. Since two maps to seven, seven will map to two. Since three maps to five, five, oh, I already did that one. <laughs> Since one maps to six, six will map to one. And since eight, uh, four maps to eight, eight will map to four. So this function would be considered the inverse function as it maps those elements of B back to the elements of A. And so again, we write that the inverse function would map Y to X if and only if the function mapped X to Y. So it's essentially undoing it, it's the inverse. So let's take a look at an example to see if this function f is invertible. And this function f is the function from a, b, c to 1, 2, 3, 4, such that f of a equals 1, f of b equals 3, f of c equals 4. And the question asks, is f invertible? And then if we answer yes to that, then we answer what is the inverse? So looking at this, I know in order for my function to be invertible, my function must be one to one and onto. And here is a problem right here is that this is not onto. Therefore, it's not a bijection. And we need it to be a bijection so it's not invertible. Let's try another. So now we have our function that maps the integers to the integers such that f of x equals x plus 3. And the question is, is f invertible? If so, what's the inverse? So we need to answer the question, is it 1 to 1? Is it on to? And so 1 to 1 tells us that every value in the codomain has just one value of the domain, and it absolutely is 1 to 1 because we're not squaring or anything like that. We're just taking each value and adding 3, essentially. Is it on to? Yes, because we're going to be able to get every integer by using another integer and just adding 3. So it is both one to one and onto, and therefore it is invertible. So what is the inverse? The inverse of this function is the function that would take whatever. So let me give you an example. If I have f of one, that means one plus three equals four. The inverse function should take four and map it back to one. So how would we do that? Well, in this case, we would take x minus 3. So notice the inverse is just the opposite function. So instead of adding 3, I am subtracting 3. And therefore, my inverse function, oops, forgot my x. My inverse function would be x minus 3. So now let's switch gears a bit and look at the composition of functions. And the composition of functions essentially tells us 
that and note the way that we're going to denote the composition of functions, which could be written this way or could be written this way. Um, essentially what it tells us is that if we compose the two functions and f maps a to b, so this is function f, and g maps b to c, then if I compose those functions, so I'm saying take the function f of x first and then apply the function g of x, then g of f of 1, for instance, 1 would map to 6 based on function f, 6 would map to 10 based on function g, so the composition of functions would give me that, you know, g of f of 1 equals 10. Again, I could also write that as g of f of 1. Remember on these just to work from the inside out. So don't be tempted to do g as the function first, but instead do f as the function first. So let's try an example to make sure we understand how composition of functions works. And first I want to do f of g of 1. So f of g of 1 would tell me that I want to find f of g of 1. So g of 1 is, excuse me, 1 squared minus 2 because g of x is x squared minus 2. So I'm really just finding f of 1 squared is 1, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. I'm finding f of negative 1, which is negative 1 plus 3, based on the function f, which gives me 2. So that gives me the answer 2. Now that can get a little bit confusing, and so instead of doing it that way, let's do f of g of x which means let's go ahead and just rewrite the entire function. So instead of having to first find g of x and then plug it in for the function f, I can just plug it right into my new function. So how will this work? Well, I'm doing f of x squared minus 2. And f says take x plus 3, but essentially we're saying take x squared minus 2 plus 3. So x squared minus 2 plus 3 is the same as x squared plus 1. And this is my new function for the composition of functions. But let's double check that f of g of 1 using that new function still gives me 2. So 1 squared plus 1 is 1 plus 1, which is 2. And so it checks out. So I feel OK about myself. So let's do the exact same thing this time for g of f of x. And we're going to start actually with g of f of 1 like we did on the last example. And so I'm saying let's take g of f of 1. f of 1 is 1 plus 3. And that means I'm taking g of 4. And g of 4 would be 4 squared minus 2. 4 squared minus 2 is 16 minus 2 or 14. So now let's take a look at g of f of x instead and see if we can come up with a function like we did for f of g of x where we can just plug in the value instead of having to go through all of the steps. So I want to do g of x plus 3, which means my x is now x plus 3, so x squared minus 2 looks like this. So I can leave it like this, or I could FOIL this out. x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 2, which is, running out of room over here, x squared plus 6x plus 7. Let's check our work. g of f of 1, which we already know should be 14. Let's see if we get that again. 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 7 would be 1 plus 6 plus 7, which is 14, and so it checks out.